Triple one is the name of the triple, and these are the contents of the triple one. The items are enclosed in flower bracket, or we say curly bracket. This is the set one of the data type of Python. Type is the command which is going to display the data type of this variable, my var in this example. Apple is enclosed in single quote. Climate is enclosed. The cold is enclosed in single quotation mark or single quote. Dear students, welcome to Computer Science classes. I am Ravi Kumar K R, lecturer in Computer Science, Vidyasham PU College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, let us start our discussion with the programming languages Python. So, in this session, we are going to talk about data types and operators of Python. Let us continue our discussion with the data type. So. In our previous session, we have discussed about data types and different types of data types. Now here, next we continue with list. So what is a list? List is a data type. So is a sequence of items separated by commas, and items are enclosed in square brackets. So this is a data type or a type of data type where we are storing the values or contents. Inside the square brackets, and each values or items are separated by comma. For example, this is the prompt here. So list one equals square bracket five three point four. These are different values, and close this square bracket. So this is a data type called a list. So as per the definition, it is sequence of items separated by comma. So here five is one item. Comma three point four, comma and another data type New Delhi, comma and another twenty C, comma forty five. So this is one data type that is list. And look at another example here. Print the element of the list list one. Here list is a data type. List one is name of the list. What I have created now. So I want to create a list. Is it data type? Here list one is name of the list. So Print list one. If you use print is the command. Print is a command to print the values. So it's an output statement. So print list one means is going to list out or print the values of the list one or values stored in list one. So list one is name of the list. List is a data type. So this is list. Now let us move on to one more data type that is called tuple. So this is tuple is another data type of Python. So the, what is the definition here? It is a sequence of items separated by commas and items are enclosed in parentheses. So if you look at the previous example here in the previous slide, all items are enclosed in square brackets, but here in tuple we have enclosed in in pair of parentheses. So here, once the created, we cannot change the variable. So once the values have been entered, it cannot be altered. That is, tuple is one data type. Now look at the example here. Tuple one equals small bracket ten comma twenty, and this apple within double quote comma three point four comma this y, and here this one. So if you look at this example here. Tuple one is name of the tuple or identifier. So tuple one is the name of the tuple, and these are the contents of the tuple one, or these are the values stored inside tuple one. It is a tuple, a data type. Now, if you want to print the elements of this, as we have done in the previous example, print tuple one. Print is an output statement, and tuple one. So the values of the triple one will be printed on the screen. So this would be the output. So this is one data type triple. In the next slide, we will say another data type that is set. So what is a set? Set is an unordered collection of items separated by commas, and the items are enclosed in curly brackets. So here curly brackets. Now, if you look at the previous two slides, here one 
that is tuple enclosed in small brackets and one of the data type that is enclosed in square bracket and this is items are enclosed in flower bracket or we say curly bracket this is a set one of the data type of python so here it is similar to list except that it cannot have duplicate entries so set is the one which which cannot have duplicate entries and once created element of a set cannot be changed so one difference between set and tuple is that here set cannot have or it won't be having duplicate values as items or elements look at the example here set 1 equals these are the values then here set 1 is name of the set it is an identifier so the set 1 equal to these are the values print type set 1 here type is the command is going to display what is the data type of this so here set the result will be class set means it display class set it means that the data type of this set 1 is set so this is type is a command to display the data type so print set 1 print set 1 as we have seen in the previous slide print is an output statement set 1 means the value of the set 1 the value of this will be displayed on the screen this is one of the data type that is set in the next slide we will say none what is none none is another data type so it is a special data type with single value it is used to signify the absence of the value in a situation so none it supports no special operations and it is neither same as false or zero now look at the example here my var it is an identifier equal to none we are assigning this to this variable here so print type my variable so what you have seen in the previous example type is the command it is going to display the data type of this variable my var in this example so accordingly it's going to print class type none so none is the data type so if you say print my var this is the variable now so it's going to print none the value of this none so none it is one of the data type in python language next we move on to next slide here see next one is dictionary so what are dictionaries in python language so in python the dictionary is going to hold data items in key value pairs so it's going to store the values a pair of values with key value pairs now here the items in a dictionary are enclosed in curly brackets and this we are using this curly brackets or flower bracket and dictionaries permit faster access to the data so this is the advantage of using dictionary you can access the data inside dictionary eh, faster now every key is separated from its value using colon sign so here as we know that it has a data item in key values so these key values are separated using colon colon symbol or sign the keys are usually strings and their values can be any data type here the key values are generally it is a string it means group of characters and data it can be any type in order to access any value in the dictionary we have to specify its key in the square bracket so we are using square bracket to specify the particular key in the dictionary so this is a dictionary in python language now let us see an example here now how to create a dictionary or how do we use it dict1 so this identifier it, it represent dictionary equals flower bracket these are the values if you observe this fruit is in a double quote and apple the value is in single quote and this is separated by this colon this is the definition of dictionary or how the values are stored in the dictionary now if it is a comma second one is climate it is in single quote and this one and the cold is in single quote so this is the value here 
the k value are separated using colon and here now this is the price and this is 120 this is the value and here if you observe this 120 is a number it is not enclosed in a single quote or double quote and if you observe this apple is enclosed in a single quote climate is enclosed the cold is enclosed in single quotation mark or single quote so these are the key values now if i say print dictionary as we have seen in the previous slides print is an output statement so print dictionary means is going to print the content of the values in the dictionary dict1 in this example so here it going to display everything suppose i want to print only one particular value or a particular item in a dictionary we have to specify with the square bracket for example print dictionary and here price kg this is the data item here and in the bracket so is going to print the output as 120 so this is how to use or create dictionary in python language now let's move on to another concept here mutable and immutable data types now so far we have seen data types and again there are two types one is mutable and immutable so what is mutable here variables whose values can be changed after they are created and assigned are called mutable so mutable means once the values has been created those value can be changed that is called mutable and the variables whose values cannot be changed after the created assigned are called immutable so any variables so which the values can be changed after creation and after assigning the values if it is changeable it is called mutable if it cannot be changed that is called immutable data type now we move on to next concept that is operators next concept in python language is operators so what are operators so operator is used to perform specific mathematical or logical operations on values so operators are nothing but a symbol or a sign so used to perform it is used to perform different types of calculations or different types of operations so it can be mathematical or logical operation so based on this we have different types of operators in python language now let us start with the first one it is arithmetic operators so before going for this we know the values that operators work on are called operand so here there are two concepts one is operands and next one is operators for example if i write here a plus b so in this statement this is a python statement in this plus a is an operator and a and b they are called operands o p e r a n d yes they are called operands so on either side of operators are called operands so in this example a and b are operands and plus a is an operator so is an operator it perform some specific mathematical function now let us see one of the operator is arithmetic operator so what are arithmetic operators here these are all different arithmetic operators so the one is plus it stands for addition operation so for example if write a plus b so it's going to add the values of a and values of b so it is called addition operation that is plus is addition operation or it is operator similarly for subtraction so if i write here a minus b here this is sub minus is a subtraction operator so it's going to subtract the value of one operand with another operand in this example the value of b it will be subtracted from value of a so this is the minus subtraction operator similarly star this is called asterisk or star for multiplication this is for division and percentage is called remainder we are using these two operators for division but there is a difference between these two suppose if you write here a 
slash b. So here slash is a division operation. So here this operator is going to store the quotient of any division. Quotient of any division. So similarly percentage operator here a percentage b is going to store the remainder of remainder of any division. So these two are different operators, both of them for division, but slash stores the remainder of the quotient of one division and here percentage stores the remainder of any division. For example, if I write here 5 divided by 2, here 2 to the 4 and remainder is 1. So in this example, suppose if I write here 5 slash 2 is going to store the quotient of the division. In this example, answer will be 2. This is the quotient. And if you write 5 percentage 2, in this example, percentage is called, it is used to store the remainder of any division. So in this example, this is the remainder. So for this, it results in 1 that is the remainder of any division. So this is the difference between these two operator that is one is slash for division and again percentage is called modulus operator to store the remainder of any division. Similarly, this is called floor division and this is for the exponentiation. So these are all different arithmetic operators. Dear students, so far we have discussed about the different data types and the arithmetic operator. Let us continue our discussion in my next session. Thank you very much.